What's going on, fellas? Like my haircut? Just came back from my barber's house. I don't know how well you can see it, but there we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I got a story to share, share with you guys. A couple weeks ago, I went to this pizza place, pizza slash sandwich place called Ziggy's. And I met a server there who was prob probably the most energetic and hyper person I've ever met in my, in my entire life so far. Actually, no, there was another chick I banked one time on New Year's Eve. That was a little bit crazier than this one. But anyways, this girl got hit on by my buddy who was there with me that night. So they knew each other already. And it was the first time I met her. So we're, we order a couple beers, we're sitting outside and she comes out and she checks up on us every now and then. And then I spot another server in the same place and I'm attracted to her, right? And the other server is giving me kind of somewhat like, I don't wanna say choosing signals, but like at the same time I do wanna say choosing signals because it's, it was kind of hard to tell if um, she was giving me choosing signals or if she was being nice to me so that I give her tips. So it was kind of hard to tell because she was at work. And the reason why I didn't approach her is because I, I was attracted to her, but she was like a seven to me. I didn't see her as an eight, nine, or a 10. That's why I was like, I'm not even gonna, bo gonna bother going up there. And instead, I just wanted to play around a little bit with that girl who, I'm, who I look at as a seven and the other hyper girl who my buddy hit on before and got turned down. She rejected my buddy, the hyper chick, the hyped up chick. So the, hype, the hyper chick comes by and my buddy goes, hey, what's that other girl's name? And she told me her name. And I said, I told her, I was like, all right, tell her to come out. She said, uh, can I get a please or whatnot? Like she started giving me an attitude that I didn't say, I didn't say please to her. So she's going to show me an attitude now. I just looked at her, put my hand, my two fingers and my thumb just like this. And I looked at her and I said, did I stutter? <laughs> Man, you could have seen, you should have, you guys, I wish I could have recorded the expression on her face after she heard that from me. Man, she just, pro she was one of those type of girls who, in my opinion, probably never got told the word no. So, so, she, so she's the type of girl who always got her way with whatever she wanted in her life so far. Clearly, it didn't work out for her because she's working as a, at a pizza joint at like age 20 or 21. I think, she's, I think she was 21. And so, when a guy like me, you know, I'm, I, I'm not some hotshot millionaire, right? I'm just your average guy. Comes up and gives her an attitude back like this. She doesn't know what to do. She was just like, oh, okay, I may, I might tell her. That's the only sentence she said to me, and she left inside. The following weekend, or a couple weeks after, a couple days ago from today, when I'm recording this, we went back to that place because it was my buddy's birthday, another buddy's birthday. So it was three of us. The guy who already was with me a couple weeks ago and another guy. And the same server was there. Man, the whole time she was checking me out. She was looking at me. She was giving me the eyes. She was doing back and forth walks by our table, trying to fill our cups up with water. She's like, you guys need anything? Do you need something? <laughs> but, and, I, and I was giving her zero attention, fellas. I was being an a-hole to her. So whenever we say in this rental community that women don't like nice guys, women like guys who are a-holes to them, who, do, who don't treat them nice, guys, I have tons of other ex examples to share with you guys, but again, this video would have would probably take us over an hour if I start talking about all these scenarios. So for those of you guys who have never experienced something like that before where you're being rude to someone or you're being rude to a girl but she still wants you, fellas, all you have to do is work on yourself. If you're not a high value person yourself, then you're not going to come off as a bad boy to her anymore, you're just going to come off as an a-hole, a jerk. And she's probably not gonna be attracted to that because you're, you don't have value. See, the reason why 
I'm getting better responses like this now than I did a few years, few years back is because back then when I was rude to her, rude to girls, they looked at me like, who's this guy? He's a nobody. Now I worked on myself, I'm at the gym, I take care of my body, I take care of my grooming. Even though I'm looking kind of scruffy here, I gotta shave. Um, I take care of my clothes, my outfits. So I get that type of response back. The type of response some of you guys probably never gotten in your life. So you don't even know what I'm talking about. For, but for those of you who, who have had experiences like that, you know females don't like nice guys. Fellas, and my other buddy who was there the couple weeks ago, the first time when he was there with me, when I told her did I stutter, that guy, I'm actually trying him, I'm actually trying to teach him female nature. And the biggest, do you know the biggest hurdle that we're coming across every time? Do you know what that is? It's him respecting women. That's the term that always comes out of his mouth. I respect people. Sure, you can respect guys. Don't respect these hoes. Why would you respect her? Why? What has she done for you, for you, for uh, for you to respect her? Respect is a two-way street. And even guys, when I say I respect guys, I don't respect guys if he hasn't shown me that he's capable or he's he's desirable for the respect, that he's worthy of the respect. I still I don't respect people in general till they they have proven to me. Now. Do I go up to people and start cursing them out, calling them names, this, that, and the other? Absolutely not. Because that's foolish. Why would you do that? Yeah, that's being disrespectful, but but at the same time, it's being stupid first, then being disrespectful second. No, I didn't do that crap. Instead, when I interact with somebody new, I start from a clean slate. I'm not going to call you ma'am or a sir or do certain things out of my way go out of my way to do certain things or buy you drinks or compliment you on something if you haven't earned any of it I don't compliment girls compliment girls anyways but if I'm talking to a guy and I like his jacket I'll tell him that hey man that's a nice jacket the reason why I do that to women is because women already get enough attention anyways and if you just and attention is currency to them compliments are currency to them so if you're just giving it out for free she's not gonna value you Obviously, I'm not trying to get valued by guys, so I don't really care if I compliment a guy or not. But fellas, the main point of this video is that stop being nice to women. Don't be nice to them. Because do you know what's going to happen? Don't respect them. They don't want to be saved. They don't want to be respected. They don't want nice guys. This is why nice guys always finish last or never finish anyways. When I say finish last, what I mean is that this is why she's going to get run, run through by all the alphas in her early 20s and then she's gonna settle with the beta male beta nice guy who's gonna make her the mother of his kids somebody who has had numerous amount of ding-dongs coming in and out of her how does that sound how disgusting and grotesque grotesquely gross does that sound fellas just let that sink in in your back in the back of your head for a second you wanna you you wanna tell me you wanna have you wanna respect these type of women these type of people? How is she doesn't even have respect for her own self? She's posting thought pictures on Instagram. She's dressing out like an HOE. She's dressing out dressing out like a hooker when she goes out. Why would I respect her if she's not even if she's showing to everybody in the public that hey, I'm a billboard, I'm a signboard of disrespect? Then why would I show her any respect? No, it's not about feeling good about yourself. That's why you're putting all these pictures out. That's why you are dressing like that when you go out. It's because you want attention. I can't respect you. You're an attention thought. That's all you are to me. Any kind of thought is not worthy of any kind of respect. Plain and simple. So, my buddy, he was actually, he was actually raised in the South. I think he grew up in Texas. And I guess... In Texas, you are supposed to say "ma'am" to every elderly, elderly uh, women, every older woman, even if you don't know her. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. To guys, older guys, like, dude, are you out of your mind? Freaking mind! Get out of here with that nonsense. If you're trying to hit on a girl and you go up to her and you start talking, conversation, talking to her, this, that, and the other, and you start saying "yes, ma'am," "yes, ma'am," like, what does that make you sound? That makes you sound like her servant. Women want to look up to you, not look down on you. Those are the type of guys she wants to sleep with, the guys that she can look up to. 
and the guys who treat her like trash, like garbage. Here's, here's the thing, here's the thing. Check this out. When you get treated by somebody who, sorry, when you get treated like trash by somebody, when you treated like garbage by somebody, something in the back of your head automatically tells you, man, he must have something that I don't. He must have some sort of value that's a little bit higher than me. Otherwise, how would he have the audacity to call me and to talk to me like that? He probably has a lot of money. He probably can't just make me disappear like that. He could probably kick my butt right now if we got into a fight. Maybe he's a martial arts dude. That's why he, that, he has that type of confidence in him. That's why he's confident enough in his shoes to call people, to call people out like this. To, act, to treat people like this. People who deserve to be treated like this. If I, if I was out of line and he was cursing me out or something like that, then something would tell me that, hey, this guy's not backing down. This guy's not kissing my butt. He's actually standing up for himself. So that means he must have some sort of a, he must have something that I don't. That that's why he has the balls to come up to me, to stand up to me like that. Same thing with women. Women look at you that oh man, he must have some sort of value that I don't have. He must be a little bit higher on the scale than me. Because most of these guys who just kiss my butt and worship the path that <coughs> worship the path I work on, uh, I walk on. He's not acting like that. So that means obviously these he's higher value than the rest of these losers. Huh. So that means automatically I'm in a lower submissive position than him. It shows confidence as well. And what do we know about guys and confidence, fellas? That's the most attractive trait that can come off to a woman is your confidence. Confidence makes a man a 10. Big titties, big booty, nice face, nice hair, nice skin makes a woman a 10. Confidence makes a man a 10. Unfortunately, we men get our confidence from accomplishments. When we do something in our life, get to a certain level in our life when we level up, this is why we often confuse successful people and their money with their confidence. We say that, oh, girls like him because he's rich. No, girls like him because he has confidence first. And the reason why he has that confidence is because he's rich. Some guys can get that type of confidence without being rich, but for most, for the majority, most of us, it's not the case. So fellas, moral of the story is stop being nice to these women. They will cater to you. If she's using any kind of curse words against you or around you, tell her, hey, watch your effing mouth. Don't talk to me like that. If you do, I'm out. Just tell her that and then walk walk away see how quickly she changes her behavior it has happened to me countless numerous amount of time girls who have matched with on tinder i called them out on their bull crap and they got in got online like that they got back on track just like that they never even met me we just met matched on online we met on online and she got back online on her path when i called when i called, called her out but again I'm not advocating to be like an a-hole for no reason. You have to stand up for yourself is what I'm really trying to say. Don't just go up to random women and random and random dudes and be like, hey, B-word, what's up? No, don't just start a conversation like that. If she's acting like a B-word, then call her one. But for any of this to work, for any of this to happen, you need to know that you're that good, that you're that dude. You need to know that, hey, I have my stuff together. I'm higher value than her. If you're a nobody and you don't have your stuff together, you're not going to get that type of arrogant mindset. I can preach this in this video and tons of other videos coming up, but it's not going to get through. You're not going to be able to register that until, A, you get your stuff together, you have that confidence, that self sense of accomplishment about yourself, and B, you start going out and practicing with women and start meeting women and just get rid of this idea of, of, of respect. 
respect has earned you don't just give it to someone just because they have a vagina especially not when they're acting up when they're not on their line when they're out of track especially at that time you don't give them respect no way no way you speak your mind damn right and clear straight to the point you don't beat around the bush that's how you earn their respect they're not gonna respect you either just because you walk around looking like a Greek god because a lot of guys who have their body together and their money together are still insecure about themselves and don't have that confidence unfortunately they're still, they're still living in a blue pill world probably that's why but that's how they give you respect and fellas if you really want to have morals well I already made a video about this never have morals with women have a set of I don't want to call it morals but have a set of rules that you go by in life interacting with women interacting with guys interacting in business deals anything just have a separate set of rules that you follow those rules don't have to be the same rules that everybody else follows in the society but as long as these rules work for you as long as these rules make sense to you as long as you get and you're happy with what you want and you get what you want using these rules that's all that matters never be nice to women if they're acting up if they're not in line this is just putting your woman back in her spot checking your woman that's what it means and again if you really think about it this is a giant SHIT test she's testing you to see what's your manhood like if you're actually gonna call her out or if you're gonna bow down to her and take her bull crap and this channel we don't, we don't mess with that crap or anybody's crap in that in that note in that matter hope this video made sense like and subscribe let me know what you guys think share your thoughts I read all your comments and your comments inspire me to make more videos especially when I hear stories from you guys one after one share your personal experiences I would love to hear that if you have, if you want to make me if you want me to make a video if you have a question or something leave a comment below in the uh, in the comment in the comment section give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends until next time stay blessed stay beautiful and above all stay classy